Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody can hear me okay out there and you can see um, the screen okay. Um, if anyone can't, got any problems, then uh, let us know. You can um, write something in the chat panel. But in the meantime, I'd like to welcome you all. I'm Steph from Simply Rhino and I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar brought to you along with our friends at TDM Solutions SLU. So today we'll be looking at the new features available in the recently launched version 6 of Rhino Gold and how when using the advanced tools along with the ease of elements you can create beautiful and bespoke jewellery. Our presenter today is Pedro. Pedro is the Rhino Gold CAD manager at TDM Solutions SLU. So if you've got any questions um, during the webinar then the best way to do that is to please type them in and send them over in the um, question panel and we can answer these as we go along or if necessary we'll do a separate Q&A at the end. We're going to record today's webinar so you can watch it again at your leisure and we'll send um, a link to that via the Simply Runner website in the next few days. So that's all from me. I'm going to hand over now to Pedro for the presentation. Pedro, over to you please. Thank you, thank you very much Stephanie and uh, all the Simply, Simply Rhino team. Uh, so it's, it's a pleasure to be here to show the news from the Rhino Gold version 6 and of course I want to thank as well to all the attendees for joining us today. So uh, I'm going to, to open my uh, Rhino Gold interface and uh, the main, uh, uh, as you can see in, this, uh, in, in the new interface, we can see uh, it's, we have by default a dark interface. Of course we will have under the options uh, as well available the, the, the light interface as we had before, uh, we, can, we can easily change but uh, we believe now uh, the dark interface can be better especially if you spend too many hours in front of the computer uh, modeling so uh, it's, it's uh, I, we believe more comfortable of course it's, it's just optional so um, you will find everything as as it was before the same the same organization from from the tabs from the icons. So this is one of the uh, one of the news in Rhino Gold uh, version six. Also the elements as we had before our library of predefined models. We add uh, a few more families. So now. We also have the cathedral and the split shank rings, also the patterned ring. So these are new families that we can find now under the elements, as well as the settings. Now we have organized all the different settings inside of the same family. So we'll have heads, bezel, clusters, halos, and now as well the basket. So inside elements we will find more models, more families, but uh, one other uh, advantage in Rhino Gold 6 is that we will be able to find also the elements inside of the tool. So for instance in the signature ring or any other tool that we are able to start from a library part, you will find these options in uh, the first tab from the tool. So instead of starting from scratch, it will be like uh, the elements, we can start with a predefined model and of course we will have the third tab with all the advanced options to, to adjust the, the, in this case I am using the signature ring, but to adjust uh, anything we need. Also we have the possibility now to save all our elements, so this is my uh, signature ring sample, I can save my own elements and we will find it and in the second tab. So we will find this on all the, uh, the tools. Uh, we will have now three options. The first tab to load elements, the second tab the user elements and the third tab as always the, the, the tools, uh, the, the options from each tool. So this is what we call the fusion. So we call this because we are we are mixing the elements with uh, we inside of every single tool. So we believe this will uh, speed up the modeling process. Instead of starting from scratch, we can start with a predefined model. Uh, of course, we have as always the possibility to start from scratch if we want. So. This is other, uh, other um, uh, one of the news, uh, there are more, 
one one uh, thing we add as well in this in this version is the quick quick access toolbar. So as always, we have there are many tools that we need to change tab to go to the tools, and the quick access tool, access toolbar will allow us to define the tools we want. So for instance, if I want to to use the Gem Studio to have it available because I use it very often, I can choose the, the tools I want to have it in the quick access toolbar and once I select the tools I want they will be in under the under the the, the menu. So this means that even if I change for any other tab, these tools will be always here. So this can be really fast if we use uh, the tools we can define the, the ones we use uh, very often to be uh, easy to assess. So um, from, from the interface, these are the main news. Uh, now I would like to show you some of the new builders we have created on this version. I have some files already prepared. And I'm going to start with the uh, with the cathedral ring. So under the jewelry tab, one of the new tools is the cathedral ring, and uh, this tool uh, will allow us, of course, to start from a library, or we can go directly to the third part to the third tab. And in here, we will have all the options to define our, in this case, our uh, cathedral ring. So the first tab from the tool, of course, we have the ring size. We can choose any ring size we want, so in this case I'm going to change to UK ring sizes and in here I can define any ring size I want and of course then I will have the possibility on the first tab to define the gem option so I can load a new gem or I can just uh, select one from the document so as you can see in this case uh, let me just edit and uh, I'm going to select a gem that I already had in my document and of course the first tab will allow us to define all the gem possibilities, position, size, cut and so on and then in the second tab we have uh, the, the ring builder so I can define many many things so let's let's take a look to all the possibilities we have uh, we can define the shoulders uh, um, inclination on the first on the first um, option. We can also define the angle. So when we start the 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 shoulders from the ring, we can define define the starting angle. Also, uh, the distance for the gem. So as you can see, just playing with these options to to see the possibilities. Of course, the the round cap height. We can also define uh, the, if we want a comfort fit or not, and uh, as well the, the height from, from the shoulder. So there are many, many options. And of course, we have profiles for every single, every single uh, part. So I have the top profile, I have the mid profile, and I have the bottom profile. So we can change the profile and individually change the measures for each one. So as you can see, looks really easy to adjust to define the cathedral shank. And finally, on the third tab, we will have the bridge. So the bridge we can turn on or turn off. And in here, we will also have the possibility to change the profile and of course the measures for the bridge. So that will be the thickness, the, the height, so we can define exactly as we want. So this is one of the new tools in, in Rhino Gold, the cathedral ring. Now it's really, really easy to define a cathedral shank, as you can see. So let me move on to uh, other, other new tools. Uh, one other new tool that I want to show is the split shank tool. And uh, the split shank we will find also as well in the uh, jewelry tab will allow us, uh, of course, I'm going to just choose uh, a predefined one. And let me go to the third tab to show the possibilities. So the first, this will be somehow similar to the cathedral. We can define on the first tab the main gem, gem cut, and uh, so on, position. And then in the second tab, we will have 
the possibilities uh, to define the split chain. So when we start the angle to start creating the split, the distance to the main jam, uh, let me show you more possibilities. Uh, we have as well the round cap, so in this case I'm defining the distance to the jam. I have the round cap height, um, also as well the comfort fit option, and uh, also the distance to the jam. So uh, the height, there will be many, many possibilities as well as the profile. So as we have seen before, we can select a profile to the top, to the middle, and to the bottom. So as you can see, it's really easy. And of course, the measures for each one. So uh, this is the first tab from the split chain tool. In the second tab, we will have to define the inclination from the from the shank. So we have many possibilities. Uh, we also have the distance. So all these possibilities will allow us to customize the split shank exactly as we want. Finally, on the third tab, we will have the bridge. So as always. Uh, we can define uh, or uh, on or off, and we can define if we want double or just a single bridge, as well as the profile for the bridge, so I can change to any other profile, and I can as well define the thickness, define the, the width, so we have all the possibilities to define the split shank exactly as needed. So this will be one of the new tools we can find in Rhino Gold. So as you can see, of course, as any other Rhino Gold tool, we can edit any moment. So if we need to change any parameter from the tool, we can change it. But the idea is to create this uh, split shanks easily, as you can see with a single tool. So this is other of the news in Rhino Gold uh, 6. So, um, I'm going to move on to an other of the new tools, and now I'm going to show you the advanced split chain. So this tool will allow us to define uh, many kinds of rings. There will have more options, but not only a split chain, but probably uh, criss-cross uh, criss uh, shanks or even bypass rings. So there will be many possibilities. Let me just show some samples from the from the library, and you will see all these possibilities we can define uh, with the split shank tool. So we can create this kind of shanks, crisscross, we can define also the bypass. So there will be many possibilities. So I'm going to show you now the advanced uh, tab to see all the options we can find on this tool. So as we have seen before on Cathedral and Split, there will be all these possibilities to define the profile, the width, height, and the, and the profile we are using, the angle, so there will be many, many options, uh, but uh, also uh, we will have on the, on the second tab as well the, the bridge, uh, in this case it's just turn on and to show you the possibility, like we have seen in the other other ring uh, tools, and uh, we will have as well uh, the possibility to add gems or not. So I can turn on or turn off the gems on the ring, and there will be also uh, one uh, new possibility in this tool that will allow us to start based on curve. So I can I can go to the front view and define the curve I'm using as well as the side view to define the curves I'm using to create my shank. Of course, the great advantage of using these curves is that we will have the possibility to edit this curve. Uh, so I will have uh, the possibility to, to edit in this case, for instance, if I want to, to change my control points from the side panel, you'll see that my ring is also changing. So in this case, I'm in the front view. I can also go to the side view. In this case, we will have the, the option to make the symmetry. So, for instance, if I change my curve in here, change my curve in the ring. So this will allow us to create many, many kind types of, of rings using these uh, curves possibilities. So as you can see, there will be 
more more options to create rings easily with this tool. So this is another another example from the news in in the in the version six. So there will be many options to create complex rings with a single tool. And uh, I'm going to move on because we have more more uh, tools. So uh, one of the new tools we have now. I have uh, in here uh, some uh, file already prepared is the basket tool. So the basket will allow us to define, for instance, in this case, I want to create a basket for the main gem. So uh, we will find the basket in the in the jewelry tab. And in here, we will have the possibility, as always, to start from the library. So in this case, I can start with a predefined one. And then in the advanced options, let's see what we can do, how we can customize the basket. So in this case, uh, I just define the, the gem I want to apply it and the element to use. So we can uh, add our own elements or we can load from the library. So for instance, if I want to use this one, I just double click to apply it. And now we will have many possibilities. So the number of rows, so in this case, I just define one the number of copies around, so more or less copies. And uh, after that, we have, of course, the total height, so we can make the basket bigger. We can adjust the position. We can adjust, uh, of course, the, um, the angle, so we can make it straight or round. And, uh, of course, the bottom size, we can even adjust the bottom size if we want bigger or smaller. So there will be many uh, possibilities to define the basket exactly as we need. So, of course, the copies of the element, the number of, of rows, and, of course, the distance between these copies. So in this case, I define negative because I want to make sure they will be touching each other. And this is the first step. So uh, the overall... Uh, uh, options for the basket and on the second tab we will have the possibility to define the profiles from the top and from the bottom so the thickness the profile uh, shape and all these uh, advanced options we can adjust from here as you can see there will be many many possibilities the rotation angle so we can adjust the basket exactly as we want so um, this is the idea for the basket. Now the idea is to easily create a basket. And uh, this is um, the idea for this new tool. So um, now I think it will be, will be much faster to create, to create a basket uh, using this new tool. There will be many more, so let me move on to the, to the next ones. Uh, one uh, one other uh, tool that I would like to talk is the uh, adapt to ring size. So now in Rhino Gold, uh, we can um, we can adjust uh, uh, the objects to respect the ring size. Uh, in this example, I have the pos I, I have created this halo and it's bigger than the ring size. So I want to make sure it will respect my ring size. So the idea from this tool, the adapt ring size tool under the jewelry tab, is to define the objects. We want to adjust the ring size. We need to define the ring size we want to use. So in this case, uh, I will try the, this one. And of course, I just need to preview to calculate the result. So as you can see now, automatically, it will cut the selected object to respect the ring size, and uh, of course, uh, we 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 in the previous versions we did this, uh, for instance, with the AutoCAD tool. But the main difference is that now um, with this new tool, we will keep the ed addition capabilities from the object. So if I am cutting the, in this case the halo, I can uh, even after cut the halo, select it and add it. Uh, so uh, this will allow us to, after cut the, ring, cut the ring size, keep editing our object. So this this new tool will will allow us any moment to go back to the addition mode from the tool and uh, adjust anything we want. 
So uh, this is the main difference for the new new tool that then the workflow we have used in, in previous versions. So adapter ring size is another of the new tools in Rhino Go version 6, uh, really useful tool. And uh, let me know if you if you have any questions, feel free to, to use the chat to, to ask anything you you want from this from these new tools. Uh, meanwhile, I'm I'm going to to move on to uh, to other other uh, samples. So uh, in this case, the one I want to show you now will be the will be the the in this case the channel cutter. So in this case, let me just change the the display mode. I have these gems on this ring, and uh, now. I'm going to change to render it. I want to create my my uh, recessed area for this gem. So we, we have created this tool, the channel cutter. So under the jewelry tab, when we use the channel cutter, we can select the gems where we want to apply the cutter. In this case, these ones. And once I select the gems, I have also the possibility. In this case, I can preview my channel. But I also have the possibility to select the object I want to, to cut. So in this case, I want to cut my, my shank. So I just, I just uh, select my shank in the second selection box. To sure this will be the object I'm going to cut. And of course, then we can preview as well with creating the channel with the Boolean uh, already defined. So we can see the results. In this case, if I want to define, for instance, the channel beginning here, I just need to preview to see to see the changes. I can define also the the distance uh, to the top, the distance to the bottom, and this to the side. So just when we change, we just click on preview to see the changes. And now, uh, as you can see, I've created my my, uh, oh, my, in this case, my channel cutter, I will say Boolean on, so I want to, to do the Boolean operation when I create my, my channel to remove the channel from, in this case, from the ring. And then we have in the second tab also the possibility to turn on the cutter. So I can automatically, not the cutter, sorry, the prongs. So I can automatically turn on the prongs. And in this case, of course, I need to define the prong size and so on, in this case, the the, the height, the cap height, and when I define the um, once I define the cutters, I can define, of course, the position as well. And once uh, we are good, uh, we can create with this same tool the channel cutter and the prong. So I just a quick sample, and of course I would need in this case to adjust the height, maybe not the diameter, the height from the prong, maybe smaller, but this is the idea. With a single tool, I define the channel cutter and the, the prongs, so this would be the result. As you can see, I create the recessed area and, of course, in this case, the prong. So this is one of, one of the new tools in version 6, and uh, let's let's move on to see uh, other other new tools we have uh, added to this new version. Of course, this I'm just referring to the new tools, but we have also added uh, options inside of uh, other tools. So we will find uh, many of the tools we had on previous versions improve it with uh, additional functionality. Of course, in this case, I'm trying to focus only on the new on the new ones. So I'm going to move on and uh, now I want to show you the the tech report. So as you know in, in Rhino Gold previous versions we had the, the, the report tool is still here. Uh, we can we can use it as always but now we also have the possibility to generate a tech report. So this new tool for instance in this case I have this ring so the tech report under the menu file, we can generate a technical report. So what we will have is, in this case, it will generate us the um, the four views from the from the 
<clears throat> from the model, in this case, the top, the front, and the side, as well as the perspective. And then we will have, as well, automatically the gem map on this tech report. And of course, with the gem map, we have the gem cut and gem size and gem position. So I know uh, the, 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 the number of gems, the size of the gems, the gem cut, and the material. Uh, I have in the in the in this case I have of course the four views and in the top I will have the possibility to define the the name the name of the, the of the project. So uh, in this case I just to assemble we can define the dates and of course all the information we want to add we will be able to add it. So we have all this information about the materials. We can define the alloys, the customer, the weight. So all this information we can customize. And of course, after this, we just can print this tech report. So I can just go to, um, in this case, the print option uh, in order to, to print my technical report from the model. So this is other, other of the new tools that can be really interesting when we send this, this model to manufacturing. And uh, this will, this uh, we believe, really useful to provide all this information for uh, the manufacturing side. So uh, this is other of the new tools in version six. So um, and uh, I'm going to move on to uh, other of the new tools we have. Uh, let me open a new file. And in this case, I want to show you the inch tool. So this is other, <clears throat> other uh, new uh, new tool we have in we have in version six. So this tool will allow us to to define the inch for any object. In this case, uh, I will select my my inch tool in the jury tab. I ju just need to define the objects I want to apply it. In this case, this earring. And then we, we can define on these icons, we can define the orientation. In this case, this will be in the front view. And we can use this disk to define the position. So I can drag and drop exactly on the position I want. And then we will have two possibilities. Or uh, after defining the position, we have the outside radius and the inside uh, radius. So we can define it or in the in the side panel or in the or in the viewport, and once we have it, uh, we can just preview to see the result. So in this case, probably uh, let me preview the animation just to show you the result. So in this case, I can use the slider to see what we are doing. So as you can see, I have defined the inch. So now I will divide this model in two parts that I will automatically create the inch. So this will be the idea. Uh, of course, we can adjust any any option. We will have, uh, for instance, by default, just one mail. And of course, the thickness of the mail, I can change it. And uh, after this, as you can see, we will adjust it. But of course, we'll have more possibilities. We can define two or more. So once I define two, the result will be something like this. Of course, we have the thickness to define. And also, uh, we will have the tolerance. So I can make define the tolerance. So for manufacturing, I can, I can leave some tolerance between the two parts. And uh, also, uh, probably one other possibility is to define just zero number of males. So it will automatically divide just in two parts. So as you can see, the inch tool will allow us many possibilities to create the inch. So as you can see easily, uh, we can define the inch in this case for this model. Of course, any moment we can change the position. Uh, this is another tool, it's editable. We can change the position, adjust the parameters, preview the results so we can adjust where we want the inch on the model. So. I hope you like this one. Uh, I, I'm sure this will save a lot of a lot of time in the in the modeling process. So we can do now inch automatically. So uh, this is other tools. Let me.
in move on to a new one. So in this case, I'm going to open a new file, and uh, mainly from from the tools uh, we have seen the most the most uh, uh, important ones. Uh, as I told before, there, there there are many many more inside of the tools. For instance, I didn't mention the pattern ring. This is other of the new tools, as you can see. Uh, no, this one I already mentioned, so uh, there will be more functionality. But I also want to talk about the cloud. So we have we have now uh, um, updated the cloud possibilities. So uh, in this uh, cloud, we will have many possibilities. I'm going to show how to upload the model to the cloud and show you some some possibilities. Uh, so let me just load the uh, L from from elements just to be just to be fast. For instance, I can start with a three stone ring, maybe. I don't know, maybe this one. And now I'm going to, I'm just, of course it can, can be used with any model. I'm just loading from elements to be faster. And uh, the cloud, uh, we will have the possibility in this case now, let me show how to upload a model to the cloud and what, what will be the result. So uh, when I use the Rhino Gold Cloud, uh, I will have the, I can define uh, my categories, so I can define our number or name of the collections or name of the customers, how we want to organize the files. And uh, in this case, I don't have any model in this, in this account, but I'm going to create. So if I want to publish a new model, I just come here and say publish a new model, and I will have two possibilities. In the side, in the left side, I will have the, I will need to define the components, and in the right side, I will need to define the materials for each component. So let's start with the components. The first component I'm going to define the main gem. So I just select the gem and press enter. I will have the, the name. Of course, I can double click and define any name I want. And by default, it will load the applied material. Of course, I can add as many as I want. So I can define this gem will be available, available in diamond in sapphire, in uh, emerald, in ruby, for instance, so as many as I want. So uh, in this case, I was changing the, the, the material, but I can add more, so uh, let me change to, okay, for instance, diamond, and uh, in this case, emerald, and sapphire, so I just add as many as I want, and I'm saying that this component will be available in these different materials. So then I add more components. In this case, I'm going to add this gem and this one. So just two side gems, accent stones, of course I can define any other, any other name I want, side gems for instance, and these ones I will uh, want to be available in diamond, but also in, uh, I don't know, aquamarine. Just some examples just to show you how it works. The sapphire, the emerald, the I don't know, ruby. So there will be as many as we want. And as you can see now, I'm saying that this component will be available in all these materials. And then I just move on. So for instance, if I want to shank to be another component, I just added a new, a new component as the shank, and in the materials I can, I can define to be available in 18 carats uh, white gold, also in 18 carats yellow gold, and for instance in uh, platinum. So I just define the materials, exactly the same workflow, and finally the last one I will define the bezels and the head so uh, this will be, for instance, the setting, and I want to be available in, uh, for instance, uh, 18 karat white gold, uh, palladium, uh, and uh, rose gold, 18 karat. So I'm just defining the materials for each component. Once I have it, so this will be my model. Remember that any moment we can edit, open, and edit the pos all the possibilities. Uh, I'm going to the second step. So in this case, I'm going to define the name of the ring. So for instance, three stone ring. And of course, the subtitle, uh, I can define any subtitle and any description. I can automatically add to my categories. I can uh, define, of course, uh, now in here automatically 
um, I can define the views to be displayed and I can now publishing uh, my model to the cloud. So once I publish my model to the cloud, uh, let's see what we get. <clears throat> so at this moment I'm uploading the, the model with all the materials I, I have defined it. And uh, now when I come to, um, to, the, um, to the cloud, I will have the model in here. Of course we have with right click all the options to define it. Uh, if we want to the model to be public or private, if we want to edit, to change the image, so we can adjust all these options and even if we want to add a scenario to it. So we'll have all these possibilities and if I uh, double click I will have the possibility to define, to see the model in any browser. So as you can see in this case I am, I am on the browser, on the internet, so I can see it from the computer, from the, the the phone from the, um, the tablet, so any device we can see the models and this is the model we have uploaded. So this is the description, uh, the, the description I add. I didn't define any prices but of course we can define the prices and then we have uh, all the views, so the top view, the front view, the side view and the perspective. Back to the 3D, we can, of course, change, zoom in, zoom out the model in 3D and, of course, the materials. So I can change from uh, Ruby, all the materials we have defined it previously, or Emerald, so I can define in here. So our customers will have the possibility and, of course, for each gem we can update the prices. So this will be very interesting if we want to sell our models online. and. Uh, well as all the others so I can define the materials so any material from the ones I have defined it before and of course the settings so I can say it in this case uh, uh, yellow gold shank and uh, white gold uh, uh, on the on the settings and uh, after this we can define how how, how the customer uh, contact us everything can be defined directly on the administration panel from the cloud. So let me go to our web page and uh, sign in with my account just to show you what we have in here. Let me just log in correctly. And now just to show you what uh, possibilities we have. So in the cloud overview, in the administration panel, we will have uh, many uh, possibilities. So as you can see we can, I, I just published a new model, we will have in here the number of views, the, the release date if we want to make it public or private, in here we will have the, the graphic views from the number of visitors, from all the models or a specific model, from the time and of course the, the countries and regions uh, we have, uh, our, the, the model is being see, seen by our customers. So this is all the possibilities we can uh, control. We also have in here the possibility to define all the images as we want, if we want to define our, our own logo, our own uh, images uh, for, for the cloud, we can customize everything from here. Of course the pricing, so as you can see I didn't define it before, but we can define the pricing for all the metals, we can define the pricing for all the gems and we can define also the price for the labor, so the profit, labor cost, so we can in here define everything uh, for every single model we publish on the, on the cloud and of course we can uh, define the working day, so imagine that our customer will see the model online and order it, we can already say okay my working days it's from Monday to Friday, so if it is a Saturday or Sunday it won't be it won't be a working day, so we can define in here okay deli delivery time and uh, the shipment cost, so everything we can we can define in the <clears throat> using this calendar to, to to provide all this information to the customers. So uh, we will have also many other options for the theme. So we were seeing the, this white uh, white um, uh, layout, but of course we can do it a, a dark or a light layout. There are many, 
and as well customize so in here we can customize all the fonts the colors and so on if we don't want to use a, a a template from the ones we we have in here we can customize exactly as we want so this is just just a sample so if i change to this one you will see that now i will have different possibilities so there are there are all these possibilities we can we can customize so the idea would be would be from the from the cloud we can uh, provide you uh, all these codes if you want to to, to embed uh, these models on your own web page so we just provide you all this you just need to to copy and paste these codes from from uh, from uh, the cloud to to the web page in case if you want to use your own web page or even if you want to use our web page we can do it from 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 this from this uh, remember that everything is customizable uh, we can define the models from the cloud uh, in the um, and we can use our web page just of course uh, if you want to change the domain you need to redirect our address to our uh, to your in this case to your web page so uh, there are there are many uh, many possibilities uh, we have of course videos explaining all the possibilities so uh, we believe this will be really uh, useful uh, but uh, just uh, I need to mention that um, uh, by default, the cloud is for free. Uh, uh, Rhino Gold 6 includes the cloud for free, but uh, just uh, what what uh, we have available inside Rhino Gold is we have available just uh, for free 200 views. So, which means that if the customer if the customer want to to have more than than uh, 200 views, so for instance, in this case, every time I open uh, uh, the ring it's a new view so once I am inside and I change all the options inside it's just a single view but for instance if I refresh it's a new view so if we have a lot of visitors in our web page uh, and we want to, to, to update the, the, the number of views uh, there is there is um, a subscription for the cloud which which will be uh, 55,000 views per year uh, and the price is uh, 995 uh, euros so uh, this is this is uh, an additional subscription option for the cloud for the ones who are really interested in, in in take more advantage of the cloud but as i told before by default the cloud is included in renewable for for free with uh, with 200 views so um, mainly uh, mainly there will be of course more options, uh, but uh, we we don't have time, of course, to cover all the possibilities. Just to let you know that everything is available to be controlled from from Rhino Gold, um, and uh, as well as um, as well as uh, um, I didn't mention before uh, uh, the Clay U uh, 2.0. So this is also included in Rhino Gold 6. Uh, in here, I I'm not going to. Go to 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 see all the all the new functions in in Clay 2.0, we we already have done a webinar showing all these all these possibilities. Uh, so uh, of course of course we can we can um, uh, rewatch the the webinar from from Simply Rhino, but uh, remember that Clay 2.0 will it's also included in 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 Rhino Gold 6 and mainly not only the sub D also the sculpt the sculpt uh, tools are uh, included in 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 Clay U in Clay U two. So uh, this is just uh, some some possibilities that we have in in the new version. So as you can see, there are many many new tools uh, in 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 Rhino Gold six. Uh, I hope. If you like it, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and uh, I would say I would say that uh, from the main from the main news is this. Of course, we are still uh, <coughs> publishing uh, videos with with more details about about uh, some some other other improvements we we have done. But uh, in general, this is this is the the news from the new version.
Hi, so, Patrick. Stephanie, from, yes, from my side, I think it's everything. I don't know if you have any questions. I do have there. some questions, please, Pedro. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, just going back to the, um, the cloud, um, uh, yes. Ronaldo has asked, um, I've sent you the question in the chat actually as well, but he's asked oh, okay. that if in the cloud mode, if I use the uh, private option, is it possible that it could be shown only to one client that I want to show the model to, or yes. in that mode, is it for my eyes only? No, uh, the, the idea of private is that uh, I won't be able to to see it from the, from from the, the collection. So if I go here, it's not available. But if I want to send the specific link, so this link to just a unique customer, I can send it and he will be able, he will be able to see it. So we can make it private, but then send the link to a single to a single person. Uh, so this is this is uh, allowed. Great. Okay, that's great. That answers that one. And also there was a question. Okay. Um, Right back at the beginning, I think we we kind of sort of covered a bit of it. But um, Paula asked about the stones and about whether or not you can create your own custom stone. Yes. So uh, there will be uh, because in, in Rhino Gold, of course, we have the standard, the standard uh, gem cuts. Uh, but of course, we will have other tools. To create new gems, and it will, it's allowed it in, in the cloud. Of course, if it is a, a gem created from 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 the the customer created from scratch without using any any of our tools, the Rhino Gold tools, mm -hmm. it can be defined as well uh, in there. So there is no problem at all. Excellent, brilliant. Um, well, that's answered all the um, those questions. There's a couple more which I think we're best placed to answer offline. But um, that's brilliant. Okay. Thank you ever so much. That was really great, Pedro. Thank, thank you very much, and and thank you everyone for for joining us. It's a yeah. pleasure. Excellent. So thank you everybody for um, attending. Biggest thank you to Pedro and your team at TDM. And um, we'll send a recording out to everybody so that you can watch again. And if anyone's got any questions, then um, drop us a line and we'll get back to you. There's a few people that um, we're going to email um, back with some longer answered questions. Um, so we'll do that very soon. So that's all. Thanks everybody very much for attending. And hopefully we will catch up with everybody again soon in the near future. So thanks, everybody, and goodbye from us. Thank you. Bye.